So, Dr. Tyler, let's uh, tell the audience a little bit about what they don't know and the benefits of actually um, of not just hydrogen, but of you know treating your water in a way that can uh, improve your life uh, from the inside out. Yeah. Absolutely. So first, I'll share a few benefits about molecular hydrogen. And then I want to tell you a little bit of uh, some of the history behind how we understand it's a molecular hydrogen and not the alkaline water. So first, when we talk about molecular hydrogen, it is this simple uh, diatomic molecule, di meaning two. So we have two hydrogen atoms that combine together to form um, the hydrogen molecule. So if you think like in your periodic table of elements, you have hydrogen as number one, and then you, you have two of those, and now you have the hydrogen molecule. That's hydrogen gas. So it is flammable. It's explosive. In fact, that is, um, most people, when they think about hydrogen, that is the green energy. That's the same type of hydrogen that we're talking about. So not all only as an alternative fuel, but as an alternative, I guess, health molecule, so to speak. And mm -hmm. the research on this really started in 2007. There was a groundbreaking pioneering paper that was published in the prestigious journal of Nature Medicine. And in this study, what they did is they took these rats and they induced a middle cerebral arterial, arterial occlusion, so basically a stroke model. They cut the blood supply to the brain, and that's going to be problematic because your brain's not getting the oxygen supply that it needs. And then after an hour or so, they let the blood go back to the brain. So think of like a stroke, and then you get the blood to go back. When that happens, when the oxygen-rich blood goes back to the, the brain, that causes a different type of a damage called a reperfusion damage. So this is an ischemia, no oxygen, and reperfusion damage. And that's where a lot of problems really occur. Okay, but in this study, they administered only 2% hydrogen gas, okay? Now that's important because hydrogen gas above a 4% concentration is flammable, but only 2% concentration is not flammable. But what they found was that when there was no hydrogen gas administered, of course, there's major areas in the brain of, of the rat that, that were dead um, because of the ischemia reperfusion injury. However, when using hydrogen gas, there was a significant protective effect that you can look at the images and you can clearly see how hydrogen gas drastically prevented the, the, the cell death of the brain um, in this model, of, of, in the stroke model. And this, the, the researchers further found that they could dissolve the hydrogen gas into the cell culture media, so into the, into the actual media. And the gas was dissolved in there, hydrogen, was able to act as a selective antioxidant. So in, in other words, it could help to reduce oxidative stress. So if you think about um, like when you have an apple and you cut it in half and it starts to turn brown, right? Or all the rust and everything, that's oxidation. And that happens all the time and, and from, from oxygen and these free radicals. And it also is linked to aging and disease and all the other kind of conditions that, that you can think of. So that's why there's this big market of antioxidants, right? To stop that oxidation. Um, however, hydrogen was shown to be a selective antioxidant. And that's, in fact, that's the title of the paper is that hydrogen acts as a selective therapeutic antioxidant. And th this is a critical point because although many people na nowadays understand the problem with excessive free radicals or reactive oxygen species that cause oxidation, what people don't fully realize is that we also need some of these free radicals. We actually need some oxidation. In fact, the, the, the reason that we use oxygen in our in breathing right as, as we inhale we are trying to get the oxygen into our cells why because oxygen is an oxidizer that's how we metabolize our food to create atp the adenosine triphosphate which is the energy currency of the cell so our our mitochondria uses the oxygen as an oxidizer so i just illustrate this because it's critical that we understand for us to understand that we need a level of oxidation in our cells, in our body, in order to even function. So wow. this also speaks to the fact that we need some free radicals. We need some reactive oxygen species. We don't want to eliminate all of them. And unfortunately, conventional antioxidants at high doses, they are not selective. They're not discriminant. They're going to go after the good and the bad, whereas hydrogen only goes after the bad free radicals and leaves the good ones that we need untouched. Wow, that's amazing.